it's Wednesday. I nearly forgot to vlog today. I actually thought I'm not going to vlog today and then I remembered I was planning on putting a couple of probably most likely putting a few days together again. So here I am. Um, pretty much ready to start the day because I've got to leave about half an hour for my ultrasound appointment on my arm. I'm hoping I will come home with a new improved arm which would be wonderful. I mean it doesn't affect me all the time but if I move my arm back it hurts and I can't move it back like in the full, I haven't got the full range of motion that I have in this arm. Thankfully I'm not doing weightlifting at the moment and, think, and doing lots of exercise because I wouldn't be able to on the one arm. But um, anyway, um, hopefully I'll have some good news <laughs> when I come home. So I'm just filling out paperwork for that. I've got a file Medicare number and my health fund number and that's it done then. I'm going to get started on dog food again. Okay, it's always need to eat dog food. And I haven't got much else I'm going to achieve because I know myself and if I've got to go out for an appointment, by the time I come back, I'm probably not going to feel motivated to do very much. So I've just got a few little things to do today. Um, you know, I've got, I came at the potato bed for Christy because I haven't got any grated cheese. So if Christy, I might try and maybe go and buy a block of cheese on the way home or something so we can grate. Um, got to pay a deposit. We've decided we're going to go to Kangaroo Valley this weekend. Kevin and myself in the motorhome. After I spent like, who knows how long, oh, that's wrong. Who knows how long yesterday <laughs> looking at other places to stay because he wanted to do another Tesla road trip. But he just realized just to go away, we've got a motorhome. It's already packed, we've got everything we need except for a bit of food and some clothing. So we're just going to go into Kangaroo Valley. It's some place we haven't stayed. It's only about an hour away, maybe just over an hour away. It, it is dog friendly, but I don't think we're taking Coda this time. I think we're living with Key and I. Um, let's until we go down and see sort of what it's about. I think Kevin wants to go out for lunch, I think, to the pub down there. But um, I know they've got vegetarian food, but I'm not 100% sure we're vegan, so we'll have to find out about that. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, I think she'll better work that out because I'm going to make a salad there for lunch. But I guess we can always have it on Sunday if we don't. Or whichever day. Anyway, so I've got a pay deposit for that. Um, is there anything else that's on my list of things to do today? A dog dinner and I want to do an order, an, all, an online order. So yeah, that's all I've got. I'm going to might try and maybe do some ironing or something if my arm is better. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to get on with things. I've got half an hour. I'll work for that half an hour and try and get well, actually, maybe I'll iron for that half an hour. I want to get the dog food going. No, I'll do that first. Oh, and I also want to make some muffins, so I might do that. I might do my kitchen time now. I can get that done in half an hour. Probably can't cook the muffins because I won't have time, but I can get them ready to go in the oven when I get back. <laughs> phone so I hope you can see and hear me okay I'm obviously in the car in the car park so that's why it's all dark outside but I wanted to check in with how my appointment went um well, it's gonna get pretty warm in here pretty quickly so I'm gonna open the door um, and now I'm gonna go all red that's probably noisier but anyway um I had an ultrasound there and the, the doctor thinks it's bursitis the guy who did the ultrasound things are something else, it's stuff to see. Um, one's like under the joint and one's over the joint or something like that. One's more serious I think than the other. Um, I, I'm with the doctor and think it's quite bursitis so <laughs> yeah, anyway he decided he would do, treat that first because hopefully that will fix to the cortisone injection will hopefully fix that and if not I'll go back in a couple of weeks and if it doesn't fix itself up it's the other thing and then they'll, I don't know how they treat that but anyway. He said that doesn't respond to the cortisone shots like bursitis and because they don't have bursitis in the hips and when I stopped to think about it that it probably started about the time I started doing a lot more cleaning around the house so maybe that is has triggered it off anyway I decided I would come down and go and get some bread and cheese and a few other groceries so I'm going to do that well I am back I actually didn't get a chance I just think when I was in the car to mention, I ended up having to race out of the house because I suddenly realized when I had planned what time I was leaving for my appointment, 
I was half an hour out. Good old Vibro to the rescue again. When was it? 10.40. And I wanted to let, and they said be there half an, be there 10 minutes beforehand. And I was parking, I was going somewhere, I've been to the place before, but the car park situation had changed and they had the direction of how to get to, well, the orthopedics that I went to, whatever I went to, the ultrasound. So I thought, okay, I'll live half an hour. Yeah, over half an hour. So I was meant to leave the back of 10, somewhere in the silly fibro brain. I thought I will leave after half past 10. My appointment's at 10.40 and it's like 15 to 20 minutes away. So who knows what I was thinking when I planned this. I just got totally confused. I was filling in the kitchen, as you guys know. <laughs> I was putting the muffins, like starting off the muffins and then I signed up to my clock and it said 24 past and I thought holy moly my appointment was in 15 minutes and I had to get a move on so I ended up racing out the door I was a bit late but um, she, that was okay so thankfully that's fibro so I'm obviously going to have to when I do have appointments which is rare I obviously have to start putting in like a travel time and put that in my diary so it's clear what time I have to leave at I was make it half an hour beforehand. That gives me time to like get a drink, go to the toilet, whatever a last minute few things I need to do, which tends to be something, and, and leave. <laughs> but anyway, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. <sighs> Good old fibro. So I got myself a new fridge bag because all mine are packed to go in Kevin's car now since that's where I've been getting the groceries. And I wasn't planning on going to get groceries. I half thought I might have gone to the source after um after the point but i just wanted to get home and then on the way home i'm thinking we really need to get cheese and bread so i thought i'll go by the supermarket anyway i like that one with avocado so i'll show you what i've got I'll show you what i've got i'll get it all out and then i'll show you yeah got a bit more than just cheese so there's the cheese <laughs> i was gonna get they have the vita soy chocolate milk which i really like and Woolworths don't sell anymore so i thought oh, okay i'll get one for the weekend and possibly one to have now they go to the end of january I'm supposed to be not buying all this stuff or having this stuff, but anyway. I've got these coconut mango ice blocks to try, because I thought, well, they're going to be better than having a Magnum. Not that I have too many, but I thought, well, I'll get them to try, because on a hot summer's day, you do like a something. I've got some of the pink dragon fruit chunks, because I really do like them in my overnight oats, and I kind of missed them this week. And then I've got two vegan dips to try. Um... I thought it sounded quite nice. Again, they've got a pretty long date. I'll have to use before I go away, but I thought they sounded nice, and we can take one in the motor home this weekend. These were the burgers. Kevin really liked those ones. I haven't tried them myself yet, but Kevin really liked them, and Woolworths don't sell them. Coles do, so I thought I'll grab another packet. Again, even though I'm trying to use up this stuff, I had actually some other burgers in my trolley, and I'm not putting them back because I thought, no, I'm trying to use up what we have, and we have a variety of different burgers at the moment. Um, but yeah, I did get these falafel bites. <laughs> What's the date on these? 19th to the 11th, but that's okay. They'll be nice to have. Got some honey soy tofu. And then I haven't, don't know if I've tried this one, spring onion and black pepper. Again, I'm not supposed to be buying, well, self-imposed not buying this stuff, but I thought that sounded really nice. So I was weak and I bought that. And then I haven't got any um, cheese left. I only tend to use cheese sparingly. Don't have a lot of the vegan cheese, but I quite like it on some of the burgers. So I thought oh, I'll get, um, I'll get some of them. And then I don't think I've tried this before. Usually we have, but I might have. I can't remember. Anyway, it was new to Coles, so I don't know if I've tried it or not. Possibly. And then I got one of these veggie roasts. Um, it should have a pretty good date on it. On I'll have to use it before I go away, obviously, but. I kind of like that. I don't usually cook it. I usually just have it chopped up or slices on a sandwich. I kind of like it like that. But, I don't know. Anyway, I've got that. And then what else did we get? I'll put this away, actually, because it's been out the fridge for a bit. And then I'll show you. I mean, I've only got a couple of bags, so I didn't get a heap of stuff. But certainly more than what I went in for. Okay, also from Coles, I got some more quinoa. <laughs> we go through so much. We've got none at all of any variety so got some of that although I've already done the dogs food for the next few lots but it'll be here for next time I got this pancake mix I have no idea Kevin often asks for pancakes and I haven't I think I have got a vegan recipe but I always forget about what it is so I thought I'd grab that and that might be good to put in the motorhome 
and give it a try and hope it's nice. <laughs> it lasts to June next year. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do with that. I'll pop it in the motorhome and then we can try it sometime. I got some Mary's Gone Crackers. I used to really like them and I went off them. I stopped buying them from Costco because there's so many in the pack. But I want to retry them again and see how I feel about them because they're probably a, a good cracker to have. Oh, there's no oil in them. Is there any oil? Can I, I can't see any oil. Whole grain brown rice, quinoa, flax seeds, sesame seeds, water, sea salt, tamari. Oh, yes, well, I hope they like these because these have got no oil, so they would be a great cracker to have. <laughs> Got some roasted salt cashews. They aren't as nice as the ones from hot the from the sauce, but as I didn't go to the sauce, I'm, I'm pretty much out of. Again, I hardly ever have them, but every so often I just have a small handful of them. And I really enjoy the chickpea things that I got from the sauce, so I thought I would try these. They smell good, so hopefully they are nice too. Got some fresh dates so I can make some bliss balls. And then I went a bit bread crazy again as I tend to. I've got some of these flatbreads because these are really nice. Kevin really likes these too, so they'll make a nice lunch for tomorrow. For Kevin, anyway, I've still got my salad. Although, yeah, anyway, work it out. I've got some sourdough bread for Christy, and I saw this, which was pumpkin and soybean powder de cassa, and I thought, oh, that sounds really nice too. So <laughs> I got that as well. So as I said, I've got I'm a bit crazy on the bread. I don't know when we're going to eat this, but try it hope maybe my new cream cheese will be nice on that I don't know I don't know why I got it probably shouldn't have but I wanted to try it I tell you I get so frustrated with the incredible slow weight loss although it's kind of come to a stop at the moment that's why I, I need to stop having the processed vegan foods I know that I haven't really been having many still but I guess a few have crept back in as you can tell from what I just bought I need to get them back out of my diet again but um, why well, I bought more today? I don't know, I'm being a bit weak and I'll get a bit frustrated when my weight slows down. Typical, I'm rapping away to myself and I wasn't recording. I'm on my phone and I find it a bit difficult because if I look there, I can't check that the time is moving along. But I try to look at you guys rather than look at myself. I think I fail most of the time. It's just, it's distracting. You see it out of the corner of your eye and it's very hard not to, to focus. <laughs> anyway. I was just saying that it's nice to sit out of my feet up my legs actually and my feet are really rather sore and my feet feel very hot and swollen I think it's just a fibro thing hello I had a bad puppy report when I got home apparently a bird got into the house a little sparrow and I'm not sure whether it was already injured when it came in but let's say it did not survive a griddle attack they were just trying to play with the bird, of course, but it, um, yeah, didn't make it. So that's not, it wasn't fun to come home to that news for, so it was very upset because she had to deal with it. Anyway, um, it could have been quite badly injured when it already came in the, when I got in the house. I, we don't know. Maybe one of the dogs found it injured outside and brought it in. I don't know. It wasn't here, so I have no idea. But... Yeah, so I'm sitting down having a rest, I have a cup of tea, got my salad out to warm up a little bit. <laughs> That's not real cold. I'll have that in a bit. But um, yeah, I don't think I'm doing too much else today. I've still got a bit tidy up in the kitchen. I've got to do the vegetables for the dogs. And I picked up the camera to say something, but now, of course, I don't remember what I was gonna say. Oh my gosh, my memory's so bad today, obviously. What was I gonna say? Oh, I think I was just going to say about sitting by the pool that I'd wanted to sit out by the pool today either for lunch or even like maybe about three o'clock or something, so in an hour or so. Um, and I still might because when I picked up the camera, or picked up the phone, it was overcast outside and it looks pretty cloudy and overcast outside. But the sun is trying to come out at the very minute, so you never know. I'll maybe see a bit later on. I just thought just, it'd just be nice to sit out and just enjoy a bit of sunshine a bit of warmth but uh we'll see i'll see what it does it a bit later on because i'm not as i said i'm not gonna not really planning to do much else this afternoon tomorrow i need to motorhome organized 
and packed. Again, it's, it's so easy to sort of just go for a weekend. It's just Kevin and myself. I'll, I'll just plan out, make sure I've got everything, and let's go. I just yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not with it at the moment. Obviously, I don't know what I'm going to say, so I'll have <laughs> have a break. Maybe I feel a bit better and a little bit more with it after my break. <laughs> Typical on the sun. I don't know if you can tell. Probably not on the white. Right, I don't think you can tell. But the sun is actually, well, it's kind of out. It's in and out. I think it's got to gone away at the back now. <laughs> but anyway, I do not feel, I'm rather vibrowy. Tired and sore, in other words. So I do not feel like getting changed and going and lying outside. Even with the sun, I just don't feel brilliant, so. Um, I'm here, can you guess what I'm doing in this position? Yep, I'm dismantling this one. And I'm gonna start another jigsaw puzzle. And I actually ended up ordering, I found another place that had some boards. It wasn't the same one I was getting, it had to be dearer um, than the board I was trying to get. I ended up getting two for it, one for me and one for Athena, because Athena said the bigger one is pretty wrecked. This size is alright, but the other one's a bit wrecked. I mean, it's years and years old. I think I've had it since before kids, so I think it's over 20 <laughs> years old. Um, and we don't need the travel part. Like, these ones go into a case which folds up and you can transport, but obviously mine goes from the table up to the top up there. If I need to use the dining table and Pete just works with hers wherever she is, so they don't really need to be transported. It's just good to actually move them off the dining table. So I ordered two of the dearer ones. So I think they're about $50 each, right? just a bit over with shipping instead of the other to 35. But I don't know when the other ones are ever gonna be in stock. I think I've been wait I've been on the wait list for a while and some of the things it takes like nearly six months for them to show up as being available. So we don't wanna be holding our breath on when they will come into come back into stock. So I've ordered two that will hopefully come fairly quickly because I've got a whole stack of thousand piece puzzles to start on <laughs> but I've got one more 500 and then the new box has got 500 piece ones in it too but I've also got two Disney the two Disney ones are 750 piece puzzles so yeah that sounds definitely out here but when I look out the the back it doesn't look like it's out Whatever. I'm not going out there in it the, the one thing about going away for the weekend it's supposed to be like 30 degrees on Saturday. It's a bit of a shame. Maybe you have a bit cooler in the morning, maybe. Because I, I thought you were going to look up. But there's some walks to do. But then I thought it's going to be 30 degrees. I'm not going for a walk. <laughs> 30 degree weather. I can't hardly handle this weather. And it says it's 25 degrees. So anyway. And I think this is, I think the humidity is on the up. And that's what's making my fibro misbehave a little bit plus I ended up being in quite a rush for that appointment and I sort of had to rush in there and then I got there and I sat down and I went and asked it's the time to go to the bathroom because I didn't even stop here or there to go to the toilet but there was time thankfully so and then I sort of went and got the groceries so I was walking around for a bit there as well so I don't know if I just ever did things this morning or no, I don't know whatever or just the weather so I haven't done very much this afternoon. I apologise for how frightful I probably look. Not been feeling great this afternoon, so I really... I don't even know, I've been watching a bit of YouTube, a little bit of Instagram, and watching the puzzle for a while. I don't know, I don't know what else I was doing. I've fed the dogs, I've had their dinner. I've got, I didn't know what to do for our dinner. We ended up getting out the pasta, the pumpkin pasta. No, what do I call it? I've got pumpkin pasta bait, that's the hot one that I made last week. This is a um, sweet potato and mushroom pasta. That I have hot, but you can also have it cold. But um, it's not as nice cold with that pasta. That was like an organic pasta from the, the sauce. If you use a normal white wheat pasta, it's really good. 
cold. It's still quite nice, but I'll see. Kevin might want to heat it up, I'm thinking, and put some cheese on it, probably, not on Kevin. But that's, that's it there anyway, and I might just even have a munch on one of them later on.